y'all doing we about to be headed over to lowe's guys so what we about to do we about to build a chicken tra tractor we about to go get us some one by fours um we're gonna get 12 of those and we're gonna build us some um chicken tractors that is an eight by eight and the reason why we building these chicken tractors with some one by fours is because like they real light and we able to carry them we notice like visiting other people farms and also buying some too as well uh, we know to stay real heavy with the two by fours and stuff like that. So we're going to take advantage and make some out of some one by fours. And then um, we're going to frame it and then we're going to add some wire around it. And then we're going to also put some um, handles on it, too, as well. And the reason why we're doing this, guys, we're doing this just because we're trying to keep all the animals out from eating all our meat birds and stuff like that. So y'all stay tuned. Let's go get the stuff. All right. Yes, guys, so we live over in the Colasage area, so we headed over towards um, Lowe's this way. And it's just like a beautiful view riding on 441. 441 is um, a long highway, actually. I think it takes you all the way down to Miami and stuff like that. I just wanted to show y'all this beautiful view as we riding and go get the materials and stuff like that, man. It's like awesome. Get to relax your mind, get your mind ready, get your get mind in the game, uh, knowing how you're going to build this frame and cut everything up. Because um, I'm going to also have to get some 2 by 4s Yeah, I will. I'm going to get some 2 by 4s just to put, the, uh, for them to be two feet off the ground so that can give the chickens um, some more um, space to, like, you know, breathe. You know, that's just enough space two feet off the ground. So we're going to do that. It's kind of cool coming off the exit. You see what that was behind us right there. Now look what we got over there. Dum, dum, dum. That's all right. All right, we got the one by fours and the two by fours. Let's see what the total come up to. We got 10 of the one by fours and two of the two by fours. All right, guys, so what I have done, guys, I took the one by fours and I just laid them out the eight feet apart and I took the two by fours and I cut them to two feet and I got these one inch dent screws and I'm going in and drill the inside of them to make sure they lined up right. And um, I also put this in the middle to stable it too as well. So what I do is, is get two nails start from the end and I'm just laying out my frame and I'm building it like this because I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on the ladder rack and I'm gonna haul it over to the farm and then I'm gonna um, try to nail it all together. Oh, sorry guys, make sure you hold down. You wanna make sure you holding it down when you do that. Sorry, that was a ripping mistake. <laughs> Cause I like my stuff to be lined up even. You don't want your um, chicken tractor to kind of be crooked and walk it. So you want to make sure all the cuts are even. You want to make sure everything is lined up good. So yeah, I'll do this first and I'll just make sure everything
these two feet cut. So we take these two feet. I might be a little short, guys. We're going to tie this thing around. Gonna line everything up even, like I said. You say what, baby? Go we'll tell sister to get you dressed. Get a diaper and get dressed, baby. Yep. Hey man, I'm about to head over here, put this frame together now. Um, I'm gonna meet also Cheyenne over here too as well. I think you wanna come over just to look at the garden and stuff like that and the animals. Beautiful old Clark's Chapel, guys. I love this view. That's the best thing about driving over here every day, getting to enjoy the Clark's Chapel view. We can track it together. So what we did is use some one by fours to make it easy for the frame to move around. And then what we did was take like a cloth wire and then that's much better than like using like the actually like a lot of chicken wire because it's easy to rip through chicken wire. And then we're going to come in here and put a, a tin roof on this thing. So like we're going to finish this up probably tomorrow or so. So, you know, it take about an hour to build this. You know, it took probably like two hours total. But it'll probably take like an hour really knowing the frame system. And we also use some two by fours on the end and also in the middle post to keep the frame up. It's two as well because it's like thicker. So, um, yeah. And this is basically like a cheap way of building the chicken tractor eight by eight. You know, six, 64 square feet, I think. So that's pretty good. So you can fit, you know, starting off with about 40 the 50 birds probably inside of this um type of space and moving them around all right so we're gonna put wheels on these things too as well and i think the materials overall calls around about 155 dollars including all the nails including the wire the wood 
and stuff like that. And, you know, your labor, you know, is free if you love it. But you can add $15 an hour, $20 an hour, however you want to do it. All right. Okay, now we got it inside of the fence around so it can protect all of our birdies. And then we're going to put a top on this baby.